Hey guys, this is John. I'm playing Conceded in the one minute pool on ICC. This is the first game of the session, and I am playing Aurelopez. We have a Berlin. Well, let's see if I can remember any uh, Berlin theory. I know all this is pretty standard stuff. Put the bishop on b3. Uh, let's throw an h3 just to make sure knight g4 is not a problem. And then I'll maneuver this knight to f1. I'll take with a pawn if he captures. And then play queen e2 just so that if he takes, he can't easily trade queens. Uh, I think this is okay. e4 is not hanging because I take, and then this knight is exposed. So I'm trying to get my knight into one of these squares in doing this. I'll go here to defend both these points. Uh, maybe I can maneuver this knight around. Let's do this first, though. I think, um, I think it might be good to play g3 and keep his knight out. Let's get the knight to f5. Hmm. So I guess we're going to trade knights. What is that? I think we're both playing it pretty solid so far. I don't really see too many opportunities for either side. He's repositioning his knight. I'm repositioning my knight. Everyone's repositioning. Let's go here. Um, I'm just trying to defend e4 a little bit better. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's go here and be okay with the trade. Like I said, it seems pretty even for the most part. Maybe I'm taking over the d file. That might be the case because, yeah, now I get to double up. Check. Let's take with the queen. Maybe h4 after this. I think king g2 is good just to cover this. Um, hmm. I'll try to get rid of d5 in now. Ooh, I'm winning some material. What does that? Check. Okay, uh, let's take here. It's going to be a time scramble. Oh, I dropped the pawn. All right, I'm going to take the draw because he had rook c1, and he could have cut the extra pawn. All right, so pretty, uh, I'd say, balanced game to open the session against Conceded. I'm going to keep this session relatively short. Just a little bit pressed for time today, and I think it's good to play shorter sessions every once in a while anyways. Bishop g2 is a nuance. Um, how do I play this now? I think I want to bring the bishop back to d5. His rook is on a decent square, but... I can play like bishop d6 and try to get at f4. I'll put the queen on c7. Hmm. Yeah, now he's threatening c4, so we gotta do this. This is theory. <clears throat> now I can maybe play knight c5 if he takes. This could be trouble for him. He may have a hard time defending. Okay, I'm gonna go... Hmm. I'll play e5, actually. Let's see if he swaps. Check. Okay, we got to do this. We got to take with a pawn now, because otherwise a rook on d8 would have hung. Okay, let's play. Let's play g6. Oh boy, I hung that. <laughs> okay, let's take here. Yeah, down the exchange now. Unfortunate. If he castles, I can't play bishop f4, even though I'd want to. Maybe I can still play bishop f4 though. Let's do this and open his king up. Check. A little Check. bit. Hmm. Need to be able to somehow play like knight c5 or something. It's not going to happen though. Time warning. Uh, uh, this is a bad move. He can trade and then play. Um, well, he could have played queen g3 after a trade. Check. Let's go stick here, I guess. Yeah, now I have to trade here, unfortunately. Check. Check. Yeah, Check. this is losing. Ah, Check. Okay. So, not good to start the session playing conceded again. All right. The Rondep Gambit makes an appearance. <laughs> okay. Everyone likes the Rondep Gambit. Even guys on ICC partake in it from time to time. Let's play Bishop E2 and attack this pawn. Maybe rook b1, just so I can always threaten to take on g5 and then take g4. Let's go d5, actually. Let's open this up. Play the knight to d5. This is just asking for punishment. <laughs> no two ways about it. First, let's secure our king, though. Defending d5, or defending e4, rather. He can take d5 if he wants. Uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Man. 
I'm playing slow, not coming up with much in the way of good moves. All right, let's take, if he takes with the bishop, we could uh, do some bad stuff to him. All right, I'm going to defend here. I'm really not sure about this, though, because our dark squares are plenty Check. weak. Let's see if he takes on e4. He can. Check. Hmm. Guess I got to go here now. Whose king is more exposed, mine or his? It's a big question. Time warning. I'm gonna go here. He can take and then play e2, but I have a check on b8 if he does that. So that's kind of what I'm banking on. I'm attacking his rook. Hmm. I feel like his king might be more exposed, actually. Let's not take his rook yet. Let's go after this a7 check. pawn. Let's see if we can break this up. Check. 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 All right. That should take care of business. Check. I would hope. Okay, so we've split the series with conceded. I'm at 2449. Let's just check who's playing. Pat Misa played him the other day. Grigory Oparin. Oparin Grigory from Russia. I played this guy in Blitz before. I distinctly re recall a uh, game I think we played in the Shevinenko Slav, I want to say. Pat Misa is only 2206. That's surprising. I would think his rating should be much higher than that. Like at least 2300, something along those lines. He played us tough the last time we played. I think Black will get this checkmate off. Just a little lawnmower checkmate. Now I should be playing one of them. All right, so we're playing the Pat Misa. Uh, let's go Bishop G4. We'll play this system. E5. Just try to frustrate his attempts to play d4. Now I have plenty of center space to work with. So we like that. Let's play bishop e7. This knight's probably coming to c4. Let's see if we can get a trade in. Hmm. Go back here. Maybe attacking this pawn. I'm wondering where he'll go with that knight. You can play b4 now. b5 was kind of radical. I, <laughs> I perhaps should not have done that. If d4, I want to play e4 so that my f5 pawn doesn't hang. That's crucial. Okay, let's take here now. Okay, so we're defending the f5 pawn, threatening e5 as well. He really can't trade queens, I don't think. He's probably going to play queen e3. That's an annoying move. If he finds it. Okay, let's win one more pawn. Can bring his queen in like that. Hopefully our king can run away. Check. Check. Let's see if he'll swap. Let's open his king up. We gotta do it. Check. Swap queens. That queen trade should guarantee the game. Yeah, Check. This will get the job done. Let's go after his A pawn. Check. Check. Hmm. We'll come up here. Go after his H pawn now. Yeah, he's way behind on the clock too. Okay, so that was a pretty smooth game. We stayed ahead on the clock throughout, and yeah, I think this move C3 is not so good because um, he needs to get in D4 quicker than he did in the game. So playing D4 immediately would have been better. Although if he does it here, d4, I think I can take on f3 and then take on d4. If he's going to really play d4, he should do it before castling, like d4 right here. Because if he had did it then, bishop takes f3, bishop takes f3, queen takes d4 is not possible because a bishop takes c6 check. All right, let's take a look at another game. Crest is playing, wow. Is that Sergei Shipov? It is. Yeah, the famous... Uh, Russian Grandmaster and writer. He's written a pair of really good books on the Hedgehog Sicilian. Or not the Hedgehog Sicilian, just the Hedgehog in general. 
highly recommend those books if you want to learn about the hedgehog. Okay, white can take on c2 because then their queen is defending the knight on d2, but black still gets this dangerous pawn. Rook c1, can it do anything? I guess he takes on b2. Ooh, now black wants to get this bishop involved. All right, we're playing paranoia in this game. And he's playing a pretty solid setup, I'd say. Let's play an early d5. I think I've had some luck doing this recently. Might be decent. A decent way to play. Let's go here, and hmm, he's going to chase our darks for a bishop. We'll just back him off. Bring our bishop right back. Um, you know, bishop takes c5 is kind of tempting there, but I'm not going to play it. Uh, let's go here. Hmm. He can play c5 if he wants. We better bring this queen back. I was thinking about trying to arrange knight d5 somehow, but I don't know if it's going to work. All right, let's sack a pawn. See if he takes it. I want to use the c4 square. That's what I'm trying to do. Maybe knight g5 coming up. Who is lagging? One of us is lagging really bad right now. The clocks are not moving. I'm paranoid that it's him. Hmm. Yeah, it was him, actually. <laughs> okay, we'll take. He wrote me in the chat a little ellipses, kind of indicating, like, what's going on. Okay, we'll take here now. Okay, maybe knight takes c6. He has bishop Check. takes h3, actually, right now. He's got to make up some time. He's trying to threaten uh, queen coming into f4. We gotta run. Okay. Back off, knight. Time Locate warning. Uh, okay. His rook takes b2 now. Didn't see it. Oh, someone's lagging again. Check. I will mercilessly flag him, though. Check. <laughs> we will show no mercy. Check. Check. All right, we got checkmate. Checkmate. Okay, that was a weird game. Oh, and we're playing ship buff. All right, so we get the legendary crest. I'm going to play this game and then one more, and then call it a session. Let's see what crest Check. knows about the Jinji Indian. Uh, he knows what's good about the Jinji, or how to combat the Jinji Indian, I should say. E4. <laughs> that is a strong move. Okay, my development might be severely hampered now. We'll see. Uh, F3? That seems kind of weird. Maybe I can go bishop a4 and then knight bd7. I've actually found a strange way to play this position. <laughs> okay, this is weird. Um, let's castle. Let's castle long. I think it's okay. It's hide our king. I think this is all right, too. Can you take his light square bishop and play knight e5? Hmm. Maybe I'll threaten knight takes c4. You get to do it. What a strange position. Okay, let's bring this back. He can take on g6. We take d5, though, if he does that. Um, let's go here. I'm doing a good job of not really allowing him any counterplay, I think, at the moment. Let's take this guy. And then d5 might hang soon, I hope. Problem is, i got to get my knight out of the way. So now I can properly threaten to take this. Knight b3 could be played, maybe? f4 is hanging. Time um, okay, e6. Keep everything solid. Oh yeah, now he's just going crazy. He's trying something. Check. He's trying his best. Hmm. G7 maybe? Nope. Let's bring this rook here. I'm gonna take that. And I'm hoping his king is too open. Could be a struggle for him. Oh boy. Or me. Oh boy. Oh, uh, <laughs> there's no mate with rookie eight, so we just barely won. Not proud of that ending, but a win's a win. 
So playing ship off again. This will be our last game. Don't recall him being a Benko expert, but you never know. People play stuff and bullet that. Otherwise, they might not play. Hmm. Takes there. I didn't anticipate that happening. Okay. Um. Let's play. Let's play Queen C2. I'll go Rook D1 next move, I guess. He is getting his knight into B4. It's pretty annoying. It's a good piece on that square. I'm going to try to get rid of it. Let's play b3 and maybe bishop b2. I hope. You can play d4. He's playing very dynamic. Hmm, this is, this is quite bad for us. <laughs> Probably c4 is a good move. Like breakthrough. c4 coming. Hmm, didn't play it. Okay, let's take the opportunity to play this move then. Uh, queen c2 maybe. Go attack this rook. Let's see if we can swap the knights. Okay, now he does it. Let's take here. He can't take with the queen on e3 because we could drop back. Um, let's play knight d4. We'll come here, attack his rook. I think b4 could be a decent try. Check. Okay, so now we get to trade and... Hmm. This pawn hangs though. Time. That's the problem. That's the problem, folks. Okay, well, at least now I get to take and then threaten his bishop. Maybe this isn't so bad. Rook a7 probably would have been better. Check. Um, We have this move. And we're queening. Unbelievable. Check. Check. All right, we can hunt down that pawn. He'll bring f5 up. Check. All right, we can win this now. Check. 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 All right, now we can just queen. Check. Check. Check All right. mate. Cool. So we ended with a pair of victories against uh, Crest. Not bad. And let's tabulate the results for the session. Got the lawnmower checkmate at the end. Yeah, pretty short is short ish session. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games, and we were uh, five wins, one loss, one draw. Okay. Yeah, based on the first two games, it's not not a bad session. So I recommend doing this when you're having like a little downturn in your results. I haven't played particularly well over the past week. It's good to play shorter sessions and just try to like um, build a build a winning streak. Just make yourself feel good, you know. <laughs> Remind yourself that you still got it. Nothing has changed. <laughs> All that good stuff. All right, so um, I guess we're back on the best list now. Just checking out. Ooh, Serzik. Serzik is very tough. I haven't played him for a while, but I hope I do encounter him. And Penguin GM, uh, my student, Andrew Tang from Minnesota, also from Minnesota. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be back tomorrow with another bullet video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.